Welcome back to my channel. So we're going to get off into some things today. I have updates. I have things to talk to you guys about. Um, I did go on the date last night. We we're supposed to have a follow-up date today. And girl, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. As much as, much as I want to be a sugar baby and as much as I want to live off of somebody, baby. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So um, he came into town last night. And let me just say, I feel like this man, oh my God, please be nice, your words nicely. I feel like this man knew that, um, and maybe this might be an issue that he's had in the past of like women being um, unattractive to him because of his size. Like he's not like huge, huge, but he's huge. You know what I'm saying? Like not too huge, but like one. Let me be nice. I apologize. He's he's a bigger guy, right? And let me put it into perspective. Like, not, not Drewski thick, right? Because I think Drewski is cute, right? That thickums, that don't bother me. But I also feel like Drewski is a little bit more proportioned, right? Whereas you're thinking, like, Bruce Bruce thick. Um, and it's a lot more, you know, in these areas. And... Each one of us kind of carries weight differently for me. Like, I carry weight everywhere, right? So, I don't just gain in one place. I gain my face, my breasts, my stomach, everything. It, it, it's, I just gain weight everywhere. For him, his weight gain is here. Like, you would never know. And I think that's why he does the angles of here up. Because facial, you would think like he's an average guy. <laughs> Let me, let me get off into it before y'all start attacking me because I've seen them comments. Well, I like big dudes. Okay, baby. Everybody preferences not big dudes, baby. Okay, that's, that's what you like. That's what you like, babe. What I gotta like, though. I knew something was up, like I said, because he kept trying to like be like, oh, you know, if you can't get a babysitter, don't worry about it. I won't come this weekend or maybe I'll try to come next weekend. Like, it was always something, right? And then also, I noticed that... um like, for me, he knew that, like, I will get up, I get up at 4 a.m. and I go to the gym. Like, on days that I work from home and on the weekends, right? No matter what I'm doing, I go to the gym. That's because me personally, like, I'm tired of being fat. I personally don't feel like I look good thicker. I'm tired of my clothes not fitting right. Whereas, again, some people who gain weight, like, they gain it and it looks so good proportioned, right? Like, mine is not. I don't like the way I feel. Like, I feel like a roly-poly. So, for me, I took, you know... The action of trying to make it better by going to the gym, eating differently, things of that nature, right? And I feel like he's like, oh, I got on a treadmill today or, oh, I went to the gym, da, da, da. Like, I think he was just doing that because he felt like, oh, she's in the gym, so let me try to get in the gym. But my thing is, like, when you do this, you can't be motivated. Somebody else can't be your motivation. Like, you have to do this for you because I find that, like, a lot of times, like, I didn't stay consistent because... It wasn't my motivation. It was somebody else's motivation. This time, I'm able to stay consistent because, girl, this is something that I want to do. It's my motivation, you know? Like, I'm motivated to get up and um, start working out or whatever. So, anyway, yeah, he's like, I go to the gym now, and I'm trying to keep up with you, and yada, yada, skip. So, I already knew it was some trash. I'm like, oh, you, you don't regularly go, so don't go just for me. You know, when it came to, like, my food and stuff, he'd be like, what you have today? And I'd be like, salmon now. For me, I try to eat fish twice a week. Um, again, just based on like what I'm trying to accomplish with my dietary needs or whatever. So my things are different. And then he would be like, next day he would have salmon and be like, you know, I'm trying to be like you, eat a lot more healthier. Like, sir, I don't eat healthy all the time. I just eat in a calorie deficit, but I also try to prioritize protein again because this is something that I want to do, right? So I just felt like this isn't who you are, right? And you shouldn't be trying to do this to you know, make me happy, like, be be yourself, you're gonna find somebody that, you know, really enjoys you for you, you know, so anyway, I ignore that and be like, you know what, all right, listen, the man treats you good, that's, that's good, right, so just go and just see, right, 
So I'm like, okay. So I go to where we supposed to meet at, and uh, for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of that place. Oh my gosh, it's right next to the West End in Irving. My goodness, I cannot think of it right now. But anyway, we're supposed to meet there, next to the uh, Toyota Music Factory. You know, it's not, what's the name of that restaurant? Lu not Lupe's Bar Louie. There we go. My goodness. Um. But he's like, yeah, let's meet there. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I'd have been a bar really, that's fine. And it was late. It's probably like 9, 10 o'clock at night. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So, and this was just like an initial meetup. Like, we're supposed to do the big thing today, but I told you I canceled. So anyway, um, I go and then I immediately get anxiety because uh, I don't do big crowds, baby. I've told y'all that. I, I don't like big crowds. That's not my thing. And he didn't realize, I didn't realize that there was a concert. Um that night so he's like well you could just park at my hotel because i'm like baby look the roads is cut off it's a lot going on baby i'm like two seconds from leaving because girl i already don't want to be here low-key because yeah you know like i'm already like semi not interested but whatever so he's like well you could just park in my hotel parking or whatever and then uh we'll go from there so i share my location you know i make sure that the child safety lock was not on the car because don't play with me and I told him, you will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law if something happens to me. But anyway, he has like this really big Ford F-150. Or is it 250 or 350? Girl, it's a big car. It's really big and it's nice. But I'm like, oh my goodness, like who needs like this monster truck? That's what it reminded me of. Like the monster trucks at them little races and stuff. Like who needs that, right? So he sees me and he doesn't get out the car. So I'm like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> like one or two things could be happening right now. Either he don't like what he see or that boy is big, right? And the second was true. The second was true, honey. So he comes around, because I'm like, baby, I'm not opening. I don't touch my own door. You crazy, girl. <laughs> baby, I don't put my own gas. My son do that. Is you crazy? It's just a certain level of treatment that you're going to treat me with, and that's just what it's going to be. So anyway, um, he comes around, and opens my door and when he's coming around the truck because i'm i'm sitting on the um like standing by the passenger side so when he walks around i said oh my goodness it just was not he doesn't have the best build right and so this is where things start to get a little creepy for me right because i know y'all i know y'all all right he can lose the weight he can lose the weight he absolutely could and i'm all for that maybe he need to talk to me when he loses the weight Okay, but um, he goes in for a hug, and I'm like, okay, you know, like I'm not mad at the hug, so he goes in for the hug, baby. The type of hug he gave me, he like hugged me very tight, but his face was right here, and I could feel the sweat off his temples, baby. I'm, I, oh, I wanted to run, and the back of his shirt was moist. I said, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh!" oh. <laughs> it was right there in that moment that I knew, oh hell no, this not gonna work. This not, mm -mm. cause I'm like, baby, why is you sweating in this? Do you not have AC? Like, I'm, but you know, listen, y'all gonna hate me. Y'all gonna hate me again. But it's like women who go through menopause. Like, sometimes bigger people, they sweat, right? Hell, I sweat. I be standing still and sweat too. But, like, that's why you put on, like, the anti perspirants and stuff like that. You a big dude. You know, you gotta lift up the ropes. And that's the thing. He had an apron belly too. So I'm like, baby, you know what you got to do. As I got a fupa. I got a fupa. And I know what I got to do, honey. So it was like, I, they probably should make shapewear for men because then when he turned around like okay so he opened up my door for me he opened up my door and then he turned around and i'm gonna tell y'all this i don't care what you say i don't, I don't care what you i don't mind a thick dude but like a sloppy built dude i can't do it when he turned around and i seen this this the thing that throw me off and i think i think i got a negative connotation with with thicker 
dudes because of my stepdad. My stepdad used to walk around in one of them uh, tank tops and his titties be hanging out. Have you ever wore a tank top? Like me, I'm a big titty girl. So sometimes like I wear, may wear a tank top to bed and you know how you wake up and sometimes like you have one titty over here and one titty over here out the top of the shirt or out the side of the sleeve. Type of shirt. That's why you can't wear tank tops all the time without a bra. You see what I'm saying? Like it was a lot going on back then, right? And I think a part of that kind of traumatized me just a little bit and I ain't been right ever since. So as he's walking around, the side of the car like I get a, a look at the back of him and you know listen man I don't care I'm about to say it anyway bigger men like depending on how they built like sometimes that area like right above their hip be like a little it be like this but it be like it don't be fluffy it be it be solid like meat right there you know what I'm saying I don't know how to explain it but anyway I got a, I got a scene of that and I was like mmm Baby, and then he was like, he the truck didn't let down. Like it was such a big car that you had to like step up on a little thing. It didn't let down. So then like he's breathing hard as he get in the car. I'm like, baby, we both can't be breathing hard now. Come on now, come on now. Like this is a lot going on, girl. This this too much. When he sat down, and and I'm gonna tell you, it, it ain't even. I'm gonna take it back. It's not even the weight that's throwing me off. It's the fact that. This man has boobies that are bigger than mine and they hang low. I'm like, they don't make shapewear for men. They don't make that for y'all. Because I feel like, girl, you need to have that on. You need to have that on. And then I started to get mad because it's like, what the hell did I, what am I up here sucking it in for? If we just letting it all hang out, what am I sucking it in for? Boy, did you even try to like wear something that was a little bit more flattering? And then it was like one of those tall button down shirts. Not like a full button down, but you know, like sometimes like a t-shirt might have like, a button right here and it kind of stopped right here or whatever it was one of those and I was like baby <sighs> the, the titties are hanging like I feel like that is just super inappropriate if I can't have my tits out like that I was just very you know what I'm not I'm not even gonna say it was inappropriate I think I was just more so upset because baby if I knew we was both putting our titties out baby I wouldn't disclose my into this damn shapewear yes i have to curse i'm gonna bleep all that out damn but i wouldn't expose in there baby i would have just we would have both been thugging with stomachs if y'all thought that's how we was coming there was no cologne did i tell y'all that it was absolutely no cologne and i know y'all probably think like everybody don't wear cologne all right okay but i didn't get a scent of soap neither i got a scent of like um <laughs> just skin <laughs> That's what I got a scent of. Just damn skin. There was no cloth. And I had asked him prior to us, like, me. I'm like, what type of scents do you wear? Because for me, listen, I told him, and I tell anybody this, like, I think as a woman or as a person in general, there is no better feeling than somebody walking up to you and being like, oh, my gosh, you smell so good. What is that? And I love getting that compliment. Like, I just like smelling good, right? And I ain't got to smell like fruits and vegetables and shit. I just like smelling good. So, my thing with men, like, I love, like, a manly scent. Like, that girl, that mahogany teak wood, where is it? <coughs> Baby, this mahogany teak wood stays in my house because it smells like a man. Baby, that just, oh, no, oh, does something to me, right? So, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, where is your cologne? So, I was like, there is no, like, I need a signature scent. So, I could have looked over the hip meat. I could have looked over the yitties. I could have looked over so much had had there been like something to make me be like oh my gosh he smells good shoe game shoe game was definitely on point i'm not even gonna sit here and hold you my man had on and i had got my pandas did get those um so the shoe game was definitely on point it's just i felt like you know you know i don't know if y'all been around like bigger people but bigger people they be knowing they be sweating and stuff so they keep a, like a, a rag and stuff with them Baby, there was no red, so I'm like, girl, what's, what's going on? But anyway, because I, like, I became so uncomfortable because, girl, it just, it wasn't, the vibe, the vibe was even different because, girl, he trying to set the mood and stuff, and he's like, oh, I'm going to give you a kiss on your forehead. But no, you're not. No, you're not. Because if any real player no, the kiss on the forehead is penny dropper. Like, even if you kiss me on my forehead, baby, I don't think nothing would have happened. Nothing would have occurred. And that, and I think that was like, oh, my gosh, the girl, this ain't going to work. Because I think he was attracted to me sexually as, as well as mentally. And for me, I was like, I'm, I'm attracted here. But this right here, I don't like it. And, and maybe I can get over it. But, girl... 
And you know what? That's the problem. Because logistically, I was trying to figure out how we going to make this work. <laughs> logistically. Like, seriously. Logistically, I'm just... It's not clicking up here. <laughs> it's not clicking. So then he's like, well, we're supposed to go out again to Bar Louie, but it's so much traffic over there, y'all. I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it. So he's like, okay, well, I'm gonna find a different restaurant. So he tries to find a different restaurant. We wind up at the ranch, which is like right around the corner. But then he's like, uh, it's now by this time, like by the time we'd have met up and everything, it's now 10 50 or something like that the ranch closes at 11. he's like oh we're gonna uh walk in they have to service because i guess he's in like the service industry he's like a gm and so he's like they have to service because it's not closing time are you okay are you okay if i'm a damn server i'm not serving you Damn, I can't curse. I gotta cut that out. But I'm like, I'm not serving you nothing if I'm a server. And he's like, well, are you a server? Before I said no, but I just find that it's rude that you will want to come in here and be served or expect service. And it's five minutes until they close. Like, what, girl, what? What? What is wrong with you? Are you okay? And he's like, but they have to. I said, I'm not going in there. I'm not, I'm not going in there. I'm not messing with them folks. That's how them folks in the bone war store. They be uh so entitled and TikTok. So, oh, you gotta serve me. No, girl, I'm not one of them, baby. And we're not doing that. We're not doing that. So he's like, Well, I just wanted to grab a, a drink with you. I said, but it's getting late and stuff be closing here in Dallas. I'm not going to a lounge. I'm not going to a club, girl. I have on tennis shoes. Like, I'm not going nowhere, right? So he's like, um, well, I just wanted to have a drink. So I said, okay, well, your hotel, the lobby has a bar, right? He's like, yes. I said, okay, well, let's just go back to the hotel. We'll go sit in there and we'll have a drink. So this is where things started to get like just, just a smidgen annoying for me because I can't stand when people are rude to servers. And I don't feel like he was being rude. I just feel like he was trying to show off. You know what I'm saying? Like, because again, I, that, I put two and two together. Like, oh, you work in the service industry. I think he was trying to pull that GM car, you know, like people get a little bit of power and they just act like they don't know how to act or whatever. That was him. So we go and we sit down at the bar and I'm like, um, here's the menu. So I kind of slide it in between both of us so he can see the menu as well. And so he asked the bartender for another menu and the guy didn't understand what he was saying because he was in the middle of counting money. Like, why are you talking to him? That man is counting money. Like, girl and he's like i need another menu why we can both share this same menu. like what are you want what are you want and so he kept calling the guy because guy's name was julio he's like well julio can you give me another menu can you give me another menu and so he's like well you know we don't we're not serving food you know you could just have a drink we only have the drinks open he's like okay but well, what does that have to do with the menu and i'm like are you okay why are you talking to him so i'm like you know looking at julio like you know i apologize because again like what the hell is wrong with you? I don't play with people that be messing with my food unless you really piss me off. And he's like, what? You know? And he just, to me, it was just like super condescending, in my opinion. Julio handled it well. And I was like, quit messing with him. Like, that's enough, baby. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know if you're trying to show off. I don't know if you're trying to impress me, but like, knock it off. So then he orders this beer, right? Because he's a beer drinker. And I was like, mm -hmm. Okay, you know, whatever. I haven't had a drink in probably like six, seven months, right? And so I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna go to my go-to, which is crown, peach, and pineapple. If y'all ain't had that, y'all should really try it because it's really good concoction, baby. But do say myself. Um, so I'm sipping on my drink. This man, I guess the beer comes with like a a shot, I, girl. He chugs the the beer because they, they pour half of it in the glass and the other half was in the bottle. He chugs the one in the bottle and then he's like, you ready to be impressed? And I'm like, is this a party favor? Like, are we in college? What are you talking about? Am I ready to be impressed? Girl, he throws the, the shot inside of the beer because remember, it's the beer's in the cup. So he throws the shot and he drops it in and this man chugs. Like, I'm not even joking. Chugs the whole entire thing. I said, <laughs> what? Because what was that? Then after he chugs it, he's like, oh, it tastes just like chocolate milk. What the hell is down in chocolate milk at 46? <laughs> Girl, what? What is going on with you? Anyway, then he looks at me. He's like, are you going to down yours? Nope. I am a lady, honey. <laughs> 
I am a lady. I sips, babes. I don't. I don't do that. Okay, especially since I ain't been drinking in a while. So then, you know, like when I drink, I only had one drink by the way. But because I didn't have it in so long, my tolerance is not the same that it used to be. So, you know, halfway through, I'm like, okay, I'm kind of feeling it. Let me chill and just kind of, you know, watch my surroundings. You know, because one thing about me, baby, you're not gonna, you're not gonna have me on noon, honey. You're not gonna do it. And so he's like, uh, do you want another one? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He's like, are you okay? Now, mind you, I have to still make it seem like I like him because I really don't want to hurt his feelings. I'm like, oh my gosh, I am not a mean-spirited person. So I don't want to hurt your feelings. But at the same time, baby, looking at you is so, it's hard. And then he kept saying that. So he's like, you know, um, I'm trying to get like you. Because I told him, I said, well, you know, I got to get home because, you know, I got to go to the gym at 4. Now, mind you, it's probably like 12. So I'm like, I gotta get home, you know. Thanks for, for having me. He's like, do you want to see my hotel room? Are you? What is wrong with you? Who do you think I am? Who? No, I don't want to see your hotel room. You've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> so, oh, that's her. He got me roses too. I love roses. I love me some roses, especially the orange ones. So he got me some roses and I absolutely love them. But anyway, back to the story. So, I was like, well, you know, it's getting late, girl. I, I can't be here too much longer. I got to go. So, he's like, oh, I guess I'm about to get something to eat. And I said, well, didn't you tell me that you don't eat past, like, 9 o'clock? And he's like, yeah, but I ain't have nothing um, besides, like, a few things before I headed over here. Okay. All right. So, I'm like, what you about to go grab? Because, again, it's, like, midnight. So, what are you about to grab? He's like, I'm about to hit a Whataburger, which Whataburger sounds so good, but not at midnight, baby. So I was like, all right. And so then I talked to him today. He said he went to five guys. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. All right then. All right then. Then he kept, um, I don't know if he expected me to be like jealous or something like that. But he's like, yeah, my friend is in town and um, she wanted to meet or whatever. And I said, why didn't you meet her? <laughs> I don't care. He's like, oh, like if I would have told her to come out for a drink or whatever that went about the truth, you know. He's like, well, you know, she's married to a woman. What they got to do with me? Sir, you're giving way too many details that I don't care about. Like, I'm not interested in you like that. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, I said, what you do on your personal time when you are away from me is your business. It has absolutely nothing to do with me. And he's like, uh, should I be feeling that way about you as well? I said, absolutely. Because what I do when you're not around has nothing to do with you if you decide to date other people we are not exclusive this is our first time meeting you done told your whole family that was the other thing like i, I was like sir you done told your whole family about me i i don't like that too much i remember when he called me on the phone and his family like they went out to eat and i was like okay well have a good night and he's like dang have a good night it's like that i said yeah like you busy right now what do you want me to do like and he's like, oh, okay. And his family's in the background like, hey, Ari. Why do they know me? This is strange, friend. This is this is very strange. Like, there's no reason. Like, we have not had any conversations about being together. Like, you've expressed your interest, and I appreciate that. But you kind of going in a little deep by, by telling them about me, right? Like, that's a little much. I think that there's been a time yet that I felt like, oh, my gosh, such and such catfished me. Or that I've been catfish, but baby, honey, child, boo boo girl. I, I walked out of there thinking for sure, for sure, I have been catfish. I have been bamboozled, hoodwinked, whatever you want to call it. It just, girl, no. Anywho, fast forward to today, which is the day that we're supposed to go out. And I did talk to him this morning. He called and I was like, uh, yeah, I left there like, girl, uh uh. I don't, I don't care how much money is involved, baby. We can't. We can't do this. We can't. It just, no, mm -mm. we got to be a little bit attracted to our sugar daddy, okay? And it's just, isn't it? So, I had made up in my mind, like, I wanted to ghost him, but then I was like, no, because I just feel bad that he drove all the way down here to meet me, you know? And I, I don't want to be, like, the person that just drops off the, you know, the face of the earth and just not saying that. I am known to ghost people because I really don't like to do confrontation, but I'm trying to do better you know i talked to him this morning i made it seem like everything was fine oh yeah we're gonna see you later but then girl when i got off the phone i was like yeah i just can't do it although i'm getting ready right now i was like i can't do it and he's like i got you a couple things that are coming your way can't wait to see you i was like uh-uh 
uh-uh, because it just seems like you're going to want me to do something strange for a little piece of change, baby. And I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested. Like, okay, remember I told y'all he was going to give me the Jasmine Sullivan tickets? Um, but, listen, I told him, like, about this song. I love BPW. Like, that is my song, girl. Why the hell did he play that last night? I said... What my girl on Player Club say, oh, baby, this is not that type of party. <laughs> you go ahead and turn that off. He like, why you not saying it? Because what you think this is? Oh, no, honey. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. He like, oh, my bad. You want me to turn on, like, some Jodeci or something? No, baby. I don't even like Jodeci. I know y'all about to come for me about that, too. I don't even like Jodeci, honey. Like, mm. Nope. I'm okay. Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Then you mix that with like the day I had, baby. I just couldn't do it. So I sent like a nice little text and was like, yeah, I just don't think it's gonna work. Like I think you are a sweet guy. You know, I wish you well. Just don't see yourself with me, love. I, I just don't see it for either one of us. I don't know. Maybe in a maybe in a couple months, you know. But I also felt like the pictures he had online. Did I already say this? I might be, you know, talking to myself. But yeah. Um, the pictures that he had online, bro, like, them is not, I was like, you need to update your photos, because online, he didn't seem, he seemed a little thick, but not to where he was now, and he's like, well, those happened within the last year, a lot can happen within a year, I don't know if y'all know that, but a lot can happen within a year, girl. All right, let's spray our face. Ooh. I don't even know why I just did that much, bro. You need to chillax. Um... But yeah, that's what happened with that. Plus, I had a day today, girl. This is the second day that my second time, let me say second time that my son has lost my wallet. So why does he have my wallet? I know that's your first question. He had my wallet because it was inside of the cart that he was pushing. So if I after I load everything up, the only thing I ask him to do is please, please, please just grab my wallet when you're pushing the cart back. You think he did it? No, he did it once um, at a Target. He didn't grab my wallet. Thank God somebody was wholesome enough to bring him back. If it was at Walmart, it probably would have been stolen. And then he did it today at Sam's Club. So I was already having like a really off day. Plus I had got into it with somebody at Sam's Club because I cut the line. I'm not gonna see you a lot, baby. I'm not here to pick up nothing, return nothing, exchange nothing. All I need to do is grab my wallet, which is gonna take all of five seconds. The dude behind me, it was a lady behind me. She like, uh, ma'am, I was standing here. I said, that's fine. She picked my wallet. She was like, oh, okay, girl, go ahead. The dude behind her had something to say. Like, what? I really, I really want to try to get to a place where y'all start minding the business that pays y'all. Just like on the freeway. Like, if you see somebody zooming past you, baby, you don't know if he, his wife is going into labor. You don't know if she going into labor in the car. You don't know if somebody has passed and he only got two seconds to go and see them before they pass away. You don't know what the hell is going on. So I need you guys to stop inserting yourself in situations that have nothing to do with you. I apologize for ranting, but that little situation really made me mad today because, girl, do, do, you, think, do you think I care about the 10 boxes you got to return a cereal when I'm out my lifeline? My life is on the line? Do you think I care anything about that? Get the hell out of my way. Get out of my way. And unless you're going to physically move me, shut up. Child, I know y'all about to let me have it in these comments. Ari, right, he's a nice guy. Well, you deal with it. You deal with it. You deal with having to pinch the boobies. How about that? Because they look pinchable. They really did. I was like, hmm. I wonder if they're super fluffy. Huh. Anyway, you deal with that, girl. I don't want to deal with that. And everybody has their limits and their preferences on what they want to do with. It's been some of the people that say that they don't want to date dark skinned people. I'm dark skinned. You know what I do? Okay, you know, like, girl, I don't need y'all attacking me. Leave me alone. I'm already going through enough. I'm going through life, okay? And is going to find him somebody who is going to love him and all his fluffiness. And I, that has been my hope for him. Like, I really do hope he finds somebody because I think they will be spoiled as F. And, you know, he's super nice. He's super nice. I just don't think that he's the one for me. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm not rushing, girl. You got time? We got time, girl. All right. So apply this gloss. But yeah, girl, we all got our own issues. I just embrace mine, you know? I'm just open and honest about mine, you know? It is what it is. Let's finish up because I got a nap that's calling my name, girl. I'm tired. I'm drained. Yesterday drained me. Uh-uh-uh. I ain't been out 
in so long and that's i think that was a part of me just being like all right just go you know because you never know like i wanted it to be a hit but girl it just wasn't you know like that's why i went it wasn't because i was like oh i can't afford to buy myself a drink hell no when that i thought we were genuinely gonna have fun i was like okay maybe i'll be able to see past you know whatever he got going on and we'll be able to have fun it just did not work out that way all right guys so here we are this is the finished look hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you guys like comment and subscribe so before i go i wanted to let y'all know what the kicker was the kicker was this man asked me if we could take a photo together he's like i want to send it to the group chat what you want to take it? no no and i know what y'all probably thinking like all right do you be leading these people on no i i let it be known my intentions from the start i am dating other people i expect for you to date other people like we are not together there is no caking on the phone where you think we together the the boundaries and the line in the sand is very clear love People just be living in delusion. They say women live in delusion, so do men. Men be creating this whole little fairy tale in their head. Like this man was like, I really care about you. How the hell do you care about me, sir? That's our first time meeting. I mean, yes, we talk on the phone. And that's why I told him, I said, you gotta be very careful with having like these long conversations with people because that's how feelings grow, you know? Like by talking and getting emotionally connected. It wasn't on my end, but I can understand how it is on your end, you know? Um, and then furthermore, I just, baby, I just looked in the mirror just now and I'm like, there are so many places, so many roles that I want to get rid of, girl, on my body. Like, I'm not happy right now with my weight, right? So I'm not happy. And he loves to eat. Like, that was his thing. Like, let me feed you. Let me feed you. Let me feed you. That was another reason I'm like, no, it just, it couldn't work because I'm not where I want to be physically. And if I allow you to come in and sabotage that, you know, I, I just, I owe myself a lot this year I do and I have to make sure that I'm keeping the commitment to myself as much as I'm keeping it to other people so if I can keep my word to my kids or to my ex or to my job whatever it is if I can keep my word to them I also need to make sure that I'm keeping my word to myself and I think I have failed at that so many times that I no longer want to do that I no longer want to do that so yeah I chose me to go around and it is what it is but yeah this is it i gotta go but because i'm ready to take this wig off this wig is hot baby i've worked out in it this has probably been day day four and it's still it's still like in pretty good shape but girl i got uh, i like taking my wigs off at night job. anyway i gotta go but i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time